Yeah, so I can probably get a um, something else out of this. Another little table. These hairpin legs, which I use on these tables off of Amazon, not terribly expensive. You can buy them in different lengths. So I positioned them onto the bottom and I pre drilled some pilot holes and um, set the depth by putting some tape around the drill bit. And so I just marked and drilled the um, pilot holes for the legs. I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of tongue oil on the bottom and put the legs on and then I'll finish the top. I like the tongue oil because I'm not very good with um, polyurethane finish. And this is pretty much idiot proof. Just wipe it on. And, uh, Keep applying it as it takes it into the wood, and then come back and wipe it, reapply it after after a while. The thing about the um, the cedar is you'll lose the color real quick after you sand it if you don't get some kind of finish on it. Um, so I really like the tone oil. It's just so easy to use. And so the screws that come with the, these legs are just regular drywall screws, I believe. Um, in the past, I used pan head screws, which I think are better, but um, I'm about out of those, so I'll try this and see what happens. And So with the tongue oil, you want to put it on real liberally and the wood will soak it up. And as it soaks it up, you want to just come back and uh, 
give it some more and then ultimately this isn't pure tongue oil this is um, uh, Watco it's got I think a little bit of tongue oil but it's formulated so that it seeps into the wood with pure tongue oil, uh, most people will pin it down with I think, mineral spirits or something like that for the first coat so that it sinks into the pores of the wood. Um, but I just, I just use this stuff and boy, it works real nice, real nice. Watco brand. You can buy this at Walmart. It's, um, I think it's about 18 bucks a can. It's not cheap, but um, as far as um, a novice being able to get a good finish, this is a good way to go. It's pretty easy. Um, tell you, everyone says poly, but um, it is so hard to, to work with. I've tried and tried and cannot get a good poly uh, finish. I always have air bubbles. And it's just, boy, it's really tough. So I'll just let that sit a while, and uh, I'll come back and put some more on there. You can see that end grain. Hope you can see it on the camera. It, it soaks it up fast. 